What's up guys? I'm Steve from Ink Cups and I'm coming to you from our ink mixing lab here at our Ink Cups headquarters facility. And uh, today we're going to be doing all sorts of stuff with silicone. So we're going to do some testing on it to make sure uh, to show you how to test if your product is actually made out of silicone. Now there's a lot of imitation silicone materials out there. It might feel like silicone, it might look like silicone, but it's not. And why is that important? Well, one, we're gonna be printing with a silicone ink, and that means if the product isn't silicone, it's not gonna to stick to it. You're not gonna get good adhesion, and um, it's gonna scratch right off as soon as you try to. So that's one part, and the other part is you know, heat resistance. Silicone can withstand higher temperatures than most other materials, so the silicone ink printing process requires you to heat up the print to cure it. Now, if your product isn't made out of true silicone, it might burn or melt or, uh, or, or damage the, uh, the part in some way. We don't want that to happen. So let's get to it. I'm going to grab John and we'll get uh, printing. I'm here with John, our ink mixologist uh, here at Ink Cups, and we're going to perform the first test, which is just a simple adhesion test on your silicone product. Now, you can only do this if you have silicone ink on hand. Uh, so what we're going to do is just a basic print, cure, and then uh, adhesion test to see if the ink scratches off or not. So theoretically, if the item isn't made out of silicone, the ink should scratch right off. Um, Alright John, let's get to it. Okay. Now we have uh, our print station set up. Um, and we're going to apply just a little bit of silicone ink to each product. Now we have our oven preheated to 225 degrees and we're going to put both of these pieces in it for 7 minutes. As you can see, the silicone product held up quite well. This other imitation silicone, however, does not hold up. Now, why is that? Let's ask Joe, our expert. The only thing that actually sticks to silicone is silicone itself. So, the silicone ink isn't really ink per se. It is actually liquid silicone. So, once it's properly cured, it actually becomes part of the of the silicone, completely different than what you're used to in terms of solvent-based pad printing. Silicone ink is not solvent-based ink. It will remain wet until heat cure because in fact all it is is liquid silicone with a catalyst added. Just like you would if you were if you were making a silicone printing pad. It's the same type of material. Alright, so the next test is a little bit more fun. We get to actually burn something. So as you know, silicone can withstand temperatures up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, anything else will distort or burn uh, when exposed to that kind of heat. So we're gonna stick the, uh, these two items here into an oven at over 400 degrees, and we're gonna see what happens. Now, it's always important to wear safety goggles and heat resistant gloves when you're working with uh, high temperatures like this. So always remember to be safe. All right, let's get to it.
As you can see here, the imitation silicone did not hold up well to the heat. I'd say this is a clear indicator of what is silicone and what's not silicone. Silicone can withstand temperatures up to 600 degrees without deforming or, or melting or getting soft. Other soft materials like TPE will eventually break down and melt at lower temperatures. All right, so the last test we're going to perform today is going to be a direct flame test right onto the silicone products. So what we're going to do is you're going to apply the flame, the blue part of the flame, directly to the part. Now what you should notice is two things. Uh, one, you know, it shouldn't catch any fire. It shouldn't stay lit. It should go out and extinguish itself uh, uh, immediately. The other thing you'll notice is if it is a silicone, it'll leave a white ash type of look on the uh, product. And we'll show you what that looks like in just a sec. So um, let's get to it. So, if you were doing a burn test for silicone under a lighter, pure silicone will leave a white ash and self-extinguish if, uh, if, if a flame occurs. Other materials like TPE will actually catch fire and continue to stay lit until the product is melted. Well. There you have it folks, three test methods you could use to test if your product is actually silicone or not. Now if you don't feel like doing these methods in-house, you can always contact Incups. We offer free adhesion testing on a wide variety of products. You just send them in and we'll test you and tell you which ink works best for your product. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something today. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We often post videos about various testing methodologies and printing technology that you might find useful. Uh, please comment below if you have any ideas for future videos that you might want us to do. Thank you.